Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go into the scriptures and study the scriptures. And I would like to encourage you to live by faith and not by what you see in the natural. Fear calls things that are as though they are. Or in other words, fear only says what it sees. But faith on the other hand speaks those things which are not as though they were how do we understand this let's go into the scriptures fear always has to do with the five senses what we see what we hear in the natural what we feel what we smell what we taste it, it influences and it makes us give our comments on the other hand faith calls things that are not as though they were let's take an example of jesus christ when he went to jairus's house the ruler of the synagogue whose daughter was dead and she was confirmed dead but when jesus walked into the home he said she's not dead she's asleep she's asleep and people laughed people laughed to scorn him and jesus had to put them all out and take the ones who were concerned concerning the daughter that's the father and the mother into the room and jesus called things that he desired to come upon the child he calls things that are not as though they were right from the beginning we see this and we as children of god who are made in the likeness who are made in his own image ought to learn to call things as though they are now when i say as they are we see in the spirit through the scriptures let me take you to the book of genesis and uh, show this to you from the book of genesis let's go to the book of genesis chapter number 1 and verse number 1 onwards genesis 1 in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of god moved upon the face of the waters the spirit of the lord moved the spirit of the lord moved hovered around the 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 face of the deep and then was three says god said something he didn't say what it was he said what he wanted what would you want in your life how would you want to change things in your life you got to call things as though they were you cannot call things just like they are you got to call things just as you want them to be so what did the lord say we say god said let there be light and there was light let there be light he didn't say oh my god what's happening around here things are without form and void and it's all dark around he didn't say what he saw he 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 didn't deny the facts but he was able to override the facts by the truth of his word remember one thing we face things in our lives we we don't deny the facts we don't deny the facts but we don't magnify the facts people of faith don't magnify the facts we got to make up our minds and say i'm going to believe what the bible says what god says concerning the situation how i want it to turn around i want things to turn around if i were to call things as they are then i'm going to walk in fear but if i'm going to call things that are not it's going to be totally different Let me take you to another scripture from the book of 2 Kings. We see the woman who desired a child but inwardly 
we knew that she had already given up concerning having a child but the prophet of god spoke over her life and fulfill the desires of her heart remember one thing god fulfills the desire of our hearts he's a loving god he's a great god he's our savior so her desire was fulfilled and she had a son and let's go to the book of second kings and chapter number 4 and verse number 18 and when the child was grown it fell on a day that he went out to his father to the reapers so in other words he went out with the father to go about and see the father's work along with the father being a child he said unto his father my head my head and he said to the lad carry him to the to his mother so probably the father would have thought he's got a headache and maybe he needs some comfort the best place is he needs to go home and take some rest with the mother so he was taken home and something happened and verse number 20 onwards and when he had taken him and brought him to his mother he sat on her knees till noon and then died pronounced dead died this child died in the mother's lap and she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of god and shut the door upon him and went out she was a woman of faith you could see she didn't cry out oh my god oh my god why did you give me a child and take away my child oh my god she didn't wail she did not she did not try to make this problem more difficult for her to come out of she made sure she is going to connect with god so she went to the man of god and on the way before that the father wanted to know where she was going and then in verse number 23 it says and she and, and he said wherefore wilt thou go to him today because she wanted to go to the man of god it is neither full moon nor sabbath and she said it's well in other words she said it's shalom and the word shalom means that's how she replied the husband she said shalom everything is in order there is nothing wrong while the child was dead at home while the child was dead at home she called things that are not as though they were if it was fear she would have said oh you don't know what happened today it's all gone let's prepare for the funeral and she would have been crying before the husband i mean to have some comfort being the only child that was left she was the she had only one child but the sad part about it is how many people today lose out on things when things have gone from bad to worse they just call things that are as though they are but we got to call them call things that are not we got to call things that are not as though they were what is she call she call for peace she call for health over the child she call that the child is well what is, what was the reply to the father what was the reply to the husband it's all well and when she went further she met the man of god man of god's servant in verse number 26 run now i pray thee to meet her and tell un- and say unto her is it well with thee and with thy husband is it well with thy child and she answered it is well she didn't confuse matters let me tell you something it's important for us to call things that are not as though they were people may look at you differently people may call you a fanatic or an extremist they will say you're too much over the board you got to call things as they are you got to call things as they are that's the only way you could live in this world don't be a fool don't try to make air castles up in the skies and think that you're doing all right call things that are not as though they were call faith 
always calls things that are not as though they were faith does not call things as though they are as they are faith calls things that are not let's encourage ourselves make up make change your way of speaking it's a declaration of your faith that brings the results in your life it's a declaration of your faith it's a declaration of your faith what what would you desire what would you desire would you desire disaster or would you desire for you to prosper in life and be in health the circumstances we are going through today in the whole world the crisis situation are we going to get bogged down with what we hear and call things as they are the rest of our life and make a misery of our life or are we going to make up our minds and call things that are not as though they were now how do we call our present situation we don't deny the facts we don't deny the facts once again but we overcome the facts by the truth of god's word use god's word to overcome those facts use god's word always use god's word make up your mind that the word of god is above all things the word of god is designed to bring good results in your life the word of god is not designed for you to fail in life or for you to accept things as they are the word of god always declares the word of god helps us moves us to declare it because every word that is pronounced out of your mouth is just as god speaks or of his mouth or in other words we take his word why has he given us this word why are the promises given to us that we may call things that are not as though they were what we see in the scriptures is not what's happening around us but you can make a world of your own by the words that come out of your mouth make up your mind focus yourself on the lord and speak what he says speak what he says come into agreement with what he says be in agreement with his word if two shall agree in touching anything it shall be done of the father so you want to believe for something believe if two shall agree in touching anything it shall be done of the father so declare every good thing that you have in Christ Jesus declare every good thing that you have in Christ Jesus In Romans chapter chapter number 4 and verse 17 it says the latter part I'm just going to read who quickeneth or gives life to the dead and calls things calls those things which be not as though they were God calls things that are not as though they were fear always calls things as they are Satan would want us to call things as they are. It's easy for us to look at the situation and oh my god it's bad it's going from bad to worse. Things are not going to come up in life. It's going to go from bad to worse. But faith calls things that are not as though they are. People are afraid of what, how they're going to face their situation, how things are going to happen in the future. But I'm, I I encourage you speak the word of God. speak the word of god call things that are not as though they were that's faith faith is simply calling things that are not as though they were fear is always talking about the facts that's all right you could see things but you can say i believe jesus said in john chapter 16 and verse number 23 or 33 he very clearly stated he said these things that i have spoken unto you that my peace be upon you in the world you will have tribulation he didn't deny that in the world things are going to get discomforted things are going to get narrower and narrower we know that but be of good cheer but be of good cheer i have overcome the world if jesus said it if he overcame the world surely he wants us to be his followers that we may also overcome the world surely he said things are there but another scripture that i want to encourage you with today in the book of psalm chapter 34 and verse psalm 
and verse 19 Psalm 34 and verse number 19 it's it goes like this many are the afflictions of the righteous many are the afflictions of the righteous or many troubles come upon the righteous people but but it says the Lord delivered him out of them all the Lord delivers us so the facts are stated but but the Lord helps them overcome I'm encouraging you today get a hold of the Word of God and speak to your situation don't be afraid we hear a lot of news we hear a lot of things that makes us feel that things are going from bad to worse no doubt about that but you rise up in faith and confidence and declare God you're the good God who always supplies all my needs I overcome the world when I say I overcome the world I overcome the difficulty that is in the world by my faith people are afraid about the downturn that is taking place not only physically but financially but I would like to encourage you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness put the principles of God to work in your life and all these things shall be added into your life and they shall even overtake you Deuteronomy says all these things are going to overtake you Heavenly Father I pray for each and every person who are looking forth for a better future but if they don't declare the future they are not going to enjoy the future so I encourage Heavenly Father even as through the scriptures we have been encouraged and we encourage one another and we say call things that are not as though they were call things that are not as though they were Father God let the eyes of their understanding be open Father whatever situation people are going through Father I pray that they would not be terrorized by what's happening around but they would say I'm going to rise up in faith and change my situation help them Lord help them Lord they need help we need help all of us you're our helper we trust in you you're our comforter we trust in you you're our peace we thank you Lord in the midst of confusion you brought peace into our life thank you for strengthening us in Jesus name God bless you